Okay, here's another movie. Um, this one is about how to uh, install a font, an original font uh, for your project. Let's say you have a project, you need a special font, you want a, 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 something that's not out of the typical Windows font list um, to look good. Well, you can use this site right here. This website is called 1001 Free Fonts. You can go in here and search up fonts. You can search by letter. Each font has a name uh, by letter, so these are the Fs, okay? And then you can just look at the font that you're interested in and see what works for your project. So I scroll down and I find a um, a font that I like, like this Fanboy Hardcore. All right, I download the Windows font. Okay, save it to my desktop in this case. All right, so I've got it saved to my desktop. And now all you have to do is I'm gonna um, go to my desktop. There we go. There it is, Fanboy Hardcore. I'm going to extract all. Right-click, extract all. Next, next, and finished. Okay, and there it is. It's been extracted, uh, Fanboy Hardcore. And you can see there's one, two, three true type fonts here that I need to install. And then here's some info about the font. It says in here that um, it's freeware for independent comic book creation only. Um, so if, if I'm not doing an independent comic book, there should be a license fee and his, uh, his emails here so I could pay him whatever the fee is to use his font if I wanted to do it, use it in a professional piece, right? So, but anyway, for right now, for this, you know, for, for working on my computer, just, you know, trying stuff out, this is fine. Um, and uh, so anyway, what do I do with this uh, font now? Okay, so Fanboy Hardcore. What am I going to do with it? I'm going to go to Start, Control Panel. All right, and I'm going to go to Fonts. All right, and here are all my fonts. Um, and what I can do is, let's see here, just open up my folder that have the fonts in them and take them let's see here take these fonts and just drag them and drop them into my font folder and take this one and drag this one and drop it into my font folder and the fonts are now installed on my system and now if I open up Photoshop I can use the fanboy uh, font okay and once again remember that this is uh, a freeware font so you could use it for freeware applications there is some documentation some of these fonts depends on who created the fonts on 1001 free fonts whether you can use them or not but um, you know for commercial purposes but I thought you'd like that that's uh, 1001 free fonts and that's how you install a font